Hey guys, so welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be a story time that uh, happened, like it's a story time that happened a couple times, but today was the worst. So I'm going to be telling you that. So if you are not on my t part of my Twitter fam, you may not know, but if you are, you probably already know. But let's start from the beginning. So uh, we moved in this apartment in September of 2017. Um, everything was fine. Then snow started. Winter came. Um, our parking is like that. Like that's the apartment, <coughs> and then that's our parking. And my neighbor, uh, well, my neighbor is a restaurant and the owner of that restaurant is obsessed with his parking space for his clients and we like we he got mad at us he kept um yelling at us as telling us that we're not parking right like my that much of the back of my car was on his side and he would come banging in my doors and yelling at us well, that's the kind of guy that he is. Um, he told us multiple times we did what we could. Uh, we can't do everything with like the snow and everything. Like we weren't mean to him. Uh, we tried to settle something out and parking better. But when I'm the last one to come in because I'm the last one to arrive after my job when I go get Elliot at daycare and there's no space in that the neighbor downstairs takes all the room I take the parking spot that I can't take like I can't I'm not gonna force myself to bump into another car or like put my car in risk or any other car in risk just because I have that that is out of my parking and that isn't yours so he used to uh he always came and screamed at us and to everyone in like there's three apartments in my complex so he does that to everyone um one time nathan had to call the cops on him and he even the like the neighbor yelled at the cops to get out of his properly property so you can see how much crazy like how crazy he is so we're like uh, -uh we're not dealing with that um like every s winter like if we stay here we're just gonna like repeat it every winter and it's not a good thing and like the owner of our apartment complex does not even do anything about it we he like i don't even have his number i don't know him we all uh we all go through my neighbor that lives right across from us so like he doesn't do anything and he doesn't i don't think he cares much about his like people that live in his block so it's pretty it's it's frustrating so he, like so one time we called the cops on another time uh like uh the people that uh like the snow thingies that take the snow away i have a blind spot um, but yeah, the people that, uh, take the, like, take the snow out of the roads and, like, the parkings and stuff is the same one we have here for the, uh, it's the same as the, um, Elliot is sneezing. He's supposed to be asleep. But yeah, he, it's the same one that takes the snow out of, uh, my neighbor's parking, like, the restaurant parking. So, uh, he came a couple times and left a huge snow mount like a snow mountain if i can say like a big pile of snow that is a big pile of snow right in front of our cars like nathan parks there and then i park there or like vice versa so we're not in the other parking and nathan doesn't use his car often so we usually put it like on the back and then there's my car here so i can just go out and come back and uh he that dude that takes the snow with its tractor, he did a couple times leave a pile of snow in front of a car. So we and when we do that, we can't go. We can't go out of our parking. We can't go anywhere because like my car does not go over that pile of snow. So uh, we got really pissed at that, and I thought we were okay with it. I thought we talked him, like Nathan 
not me. Nathan does all the work because uh, mm -mm. he gets really pissed. And I thought everything was fine. And then this morning, oh, that was the, like, it was the, that was, that was, it. like, it was too much. So this morning, and that was like a couple, like, what I just said was like throughout two or three months. Um, but this morning, uh, my neighbor texted us to say, don't be like, don't, don't be surprised. There's a pile of snow in front of the, of your cars. Um, he's supposed to come get it, like move it, like get rid of that pile of snow around nine or 10 in the morning. So just if you like, just be prepared to like be able to move your cars so, um, he can push it back. Cause he like, it's a small parking and sometimes where the restaurant is, uh, there's not enough pl place for all like the parkings and the snow. So he pushes all his snow in back of our apartment, um, the complex. So like in our yard and stuff. So it's okay, I guess. But uh, so he leaves. He, he left a pile in front of there, and like my neighbor just said, don't mind, don't mind it. He's gonna come back. So we're like, okay. So that's fine. He tells us. When we just like we're, we're already ready to go and stuff, and then you see that that is frustrating. But he told us, so it's fine. So Nathan get gets up, and he like take the snow off of our cars, get the cars ready. So when he comes, he can just get them out, and then he can push his snow back. Uh, then it was a while. Then he comes back in. Nathan's like, well, it's it's long. What is he doing? Um, so we're doing laundry. That's the we're doing laundry. Um, we're cleaning all the sheets of our bed and stuff. Uh, then I put it in. Then Nathan puts the soap. I look out the window just to see if he was coming or anything. I look out the window. He's there. And he just came in, took the snow, and threw it. Like, the, the, the like, it goes in a thing and then it blows it. He literally blew the snow on our cars. Like, what the heck were you thinking? It's your job to take the snow away so cars can pass through. So first of all, you're not supposed to leave a pile of snow in front of a car. Like, honestly, Nathan already did that job, like, in Quebec City for, like, two years, and never he would have done that, like, big cities. Here, you can't even take your pile your pile of snow and put it somewhere else or you can't even wait for someone to get out move the car or anything he just came in blew the the, the like he blew the snow like towards the garage and then it rebounded on the garage and then on on our cars and the ice from the garage fell on our car like that would could have broken our cars like honestly so I was like, what the hell? He's like, I just screamed. He's throwing the, the snow on our cars. Nathan ran out. He was so pissed. Already, we were, we were already pissed. And then he he ran out. He started yelling at the guy like, what the hell are you doing? Don't do that. And he was like, oh, and then and then just throwing in like the snow over there. No, it's going on our cars. Like, what the f heck? We were so pissed. And yeah, so they... They didn't fight, but they argued along. And uh, he was like, dude, like, just do your job properly and stuff. And he got, the dude got so mad. And he was like, oh, you can shovel your snow, by." And he left, like, really? It's your goddamn job. He gets paid 200 bucks to take the freaking snow and move it. Like, don't, you're not supposed to do a pile of snow in front of the car. You're supposed to take it away so the car can get out. I have a child. We have a family. If I have to go out and there's a pile of snow, like an emergency or something, I can't get out. Logically, it's your job to take the <clears throat> snow away. And second of all, don't throw snow on cars. It can break cars. And Nathan shoveled like the rest of it because honestly, he left. He was so pissed. Nathan shoveled the rest of them and most of the snow was ice. So we got lucky that none, like nothing is broken on our cars. Like our cars is like that and he caught, like threw it on it. So honestly, I can't wait to 
move. We've been here since, since September. Like, guys, it's February and we are so sick of being here. And there's like a whole bunch of other stuff going on here. It's like, oh, like what are people are, I don't know what they're thinking about, but they're, uh. oh yeah, so this video was so long. I'm sorry guys, but I hope you guys enjoyed me being mad. I was so pissed this morning. Like this is like, I'm still a little pissed about it because like we pay for our parkings, we pay for being here and we always get, like there's not one weekend or a week, a day in the week that we don't get mad because of others around us so that is so like that sucks to be here and each night we have to lock our doors and make sure they're all locked because we don't want anyone to like barge in and stuff so yeah but yeah so i hope you guys enjoyed my madness even if this video was really long but that's the story of a dude throwing a snow on our car on my car and um my neighbors being crazy about his parking lot Bye, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys!